Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're going to be going over the top 5 hacking books for beginners. Now these 5 books that I'm going to go through are books that I've read through and I thought uh, comparing to the last video I made last year about the top 5 hacking books, which ones I think are still the best and some new additions to the list. These books really help to sort of get you in the mood to sort of so you can dive in and you know get started on some some fun hacking stuff and that's what I've focused on here with this list. It's not just great knowledge, it's also entertainment value to sort of get you, you know, in the mood, to get you, you know, sitting down and actually doing some hacking. Anyway, let's dive in to the first book. The first book is Real World Bug Hunting. Now this book is by Peter Jaworski. And in the description of the book, it says, real world web hacking is a field to finding software bugs. Ethical hacker Peter Jaworski breaks down common types of bugs then contextualizes them with real bug bounty reports released by hackers on companies like Twitter, Facebook, Google, Uber, and Starbucks. Now, the thing I liked about this book is because it focuses heavily on reports. And I feel like with bug bounties, the report is probably the most crucial part of what you, you know, actually need to do because you need to present that report to a triage who are then going to go through the listed vulnerability or vulnerabilities that you have found and mark off what sort of criticality they have. This book describes perfectly how to write a report and uh, you know that is worth buying it just for that, to be completely honest with you. The blurb goes on to say, each chapter begins with an explanation of a vulnerability type then moves into a series of real bug bounty reports that show you how the bugs were found. You'll learn things like cross-site request forgery tricks, users into unknowingly submitted information to websites they are logged into, how to pass along unsafe JavaScript to execute cross-site scripting, how to access another user's data via insecure direct object references, and how to trick websites into disclosing information with server-side request forgeries. So as you can tell from the description that they give the book themselves, as well as the level of detail that they put into the reports that you get to read through, it's a great read. It really sort of, it even got me wanting to do some bug bounties, and I can't stand bug bounties because they take forever. But anyway, let's get on to the next book. The next book is one that was in the 2020 version of this video and it is RTFM, the Red Team Field Manual. This book is by Ben Clark and basically explains what a Red Team field engagement is like. It goes through and explains the different tools and techniques used in the field to do a Red Team operation and it. the reason I like this book so much is because it, it really sort of grabs you and throws you into this world of uh, a hacker on the field and it, it's just super fun and cool. The way this book has been written is basically it's like a, a reference guide that you can come back to later as a, you know, like a manual, like it says, where you can, you can go out on the field and actually have this book in hand and be able to reference it later on. That in itself is, for me, a book worthy of actually getting because it is one that you can bring with you either in, you know, the PDF form if you download it online or if you were to get it on a Kindle or a paperback version, it's something that you could have in your bag in your set of tools, which is super useful. Nobody knows everything and having a manual or a guide that has been written exactly for you is super useful. So absolutely RTFM, go and get it. It's worth mentioning here that the, the one that I'm referring to is the second edition. Alrighty, the next book is Advanced Penetration Testing Hacking the World's Most Secure Networks. This book is by Will Alsop, and the reason I like this book is because it sort of puts you in a, a simulation of a real attack. And with these simulations, it's sort of like knowledge that you wouldn't usually find in any sort of certification or any that I've sort of seen for different things like social engineering, programming, vulnerability and exploits, and of course all the, the fun discovery stuff to get you to those points. It's sort of like the actual art of pen testing, but in a, a written form. So basically it's, it's similar to RTFM in the way that it's quite uh, in depth with its techniques. And that's sort of why I like this book as well. It's one of those ones that you would bring along with you for reference later. 
Okay, on to the last book. It is a hands-on introduction to hacking. This book is by Georgia Weedman and it is like a, a hands-on approach of uh, the tools and techniques you need to use to be able to become an ethical hacker. With these other books uh, as more of reference guides or manuals that you would read um, and sort of get you into that vibe. This book focuses on actual hands-on techniques. So practices that you can use as a pen tester and some that I, I have used before in the past. It is, I found a little bit heavily focused on networking, but as I've mentioned in other videos, networking in cybersecurity is super important. But if you follow along with the steps that are outlined in the book, you will get that hands-on approach to be able to perform a penetration test yourself. In the blurb of this book, it says, you will learn how to crack passwords and wireless network keys with brute forcing and word lists, test web applications for vulnerabilities, use the Metasploit framework to launch exports and write your own Metasploit modules, automate social engineering attacks, bypass antivirus software, and turn access to one machine into a total control of the enterprise in the post-exploitation phase. Now, I'm pretty sure the guys who came up with the whole Hafnium thing that happened a few months ago and, and continues to happen probably read this book. It sort of explains that first step all the way through to the, the end, the post-engagement section, where you learn all of these different tools and techniques and then put them into practice. The only way this book could have been made better is if it actually had labs to do, but as a, a book, it basically just teaches you the hands-on approach, which is still awesome. Anyway, that's my list of five books for beginners to get into ethical hacking. I'd love to see your recommendations in the comments section below so that other people who come to watch this video can see those books as well and perhaps they can pick and choose between them to see which ones they want to go through. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all on the next video.